Hello and welcome. Today, we here at Board Crazy are on a train bound for Constantinople. Unfortunately, there's been a murder and the master detective aboard has been knocked out, so it's up to us to solve the mystery of Exit, the game, Dead Man or the Orient Express. And we're here too. All right, hello. So, uh, I guess it's proper that we introduce ourselves. I am D. I'm joined by... I'm Graham. And I am Inspector William Clouseau. Ah! <laughs> Murder solved. It was Graham. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, in lieu of our usual uh, thing where I explain how the game works before we actually get playing, we're not exactly going to do that this time. Because, first of all, we have played an exit game on this channel before. Um... We did, what was it? Something about pirates. Sunken. Sunken over there, right there. Sunken, sunken, treasure. Treasure. sunken treasure. So we'll probably have a link to that in the description if I had to guess. You can click on that if you kind of want to uh, maybe, you know, first just see us try our hand at one of these games. Yeah, and more of a rundown on probably how that game plays. Yeah. We but killed it. The, yeah. the, 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 the basic setup is similar here. We've got clues related to different shapes, which we'll be encountering in the book here, um, which can help us when we get stuck. We've got riddles and we've got answers that we'll be referring ourselves to mm -hmm. as they come up. This is the decoder uh, which we'll be using to s figure out the answers hopefully. Yeah. So basically the setup here is it's Murder on the Orient Ori Express, the Agatha Christie Christy, novel. Yeah. Uh, but you know. Poirot. But with enough, yeah. <laughs> it's just distinct enough to not be a, a copyright infringement. Yeah, this mm -hmm. is we're going, it's 1905, we're going from Paris to Constantinople on the Orient Express. A uh, certain passenger named Edgar Ratchington has been... Johnny Depp! Johnny, Johnny Depp has been murdered. He was traveling alone. There are no clues to who committed the deed, and everyone seems to have an alibi for the night when it happened. Uh, and nobody even seems to have known him. There is a master detective, the interestingly named Achilles Pousseau. Who knows how they thought that one up. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, he has been knocked out, but we found his notebook right there, which is useful, probably. And, yeah, now we're going to try to salt. We're going to use the notes there and everything we discover from here on out to uh, <clears throat> determine who the actual murderer was. It was probably everybody, but we're going <laughs> to... <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna figure it out again. Graham has no idea what any of this. Graham says. doesn't understand anything we're saying right now. Yeah. What? What? Uh, Murder on the Orient Express is just Greek you, right? Poirot. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, exactly. Okay. We uh, basically every apartment or like everything in this train is locked with a three-digit code. We need to figure out using. You know, the book and whatnot. I have a blowtorch. We can just okay. unlock it's everything. It's terribly convenient. We have to figure out what the three-digit code is. We enter it here uh, on the the decoder. Obsessed with murder. And the decoder, if we have it right, it'll, it will give us an answer number. We'll re reference it, and if we're right, we'll know. If we're wrong, it'll tell us so. Okay. So we're going to keep doing that basically over and over until we... Uh, Figure yeah. out who did this. Or don't. Yeah. So are we ready to start? We yeah. And we're gonna have a we're gonna have a score at the end based on how many don't, clues we use yet. and how long it takes us. We have a timer here set up. I guess I can hold on. I figure we can start that about halfway through the gameplay. We yeah. are free to look throughout the entire book, unlike the last time where we kind of were going page by page. Now we have the ref the entire thing we can go through. Uh can we have like writing? Can I have like a piece of paper or something? I don't trust Hector McKing. That seems dangerous. Oh Graham, that's not eat that's not food. You always forget. Oh. <laughs> oh my, oh my lord. We see, just hit, you escaped. You escaped! <laughs> Alright. seconds. Will, what's over there? Wait, start from left to right. I don't know how to do this. Hurry up. We're timing. Spell, okay, so this is the d journal of uh, Inspector Achilles Pousseau. Do you want me to read the whole thing? I, so we we just thing? left Sophia train station and are now on our way to the city of Constantinople. The murder of Mr. Edgar Ratchington cannot have gotten off of the train. Therefore, it is my firm belief that this perpetrator, he or she, must naturally still be on the Orient Express! Exclamation point. It would encumber my investigation if anyone were to disembark once the train stopped. Now I have to remind myself that some of the most recent evidence indicates to me that Ratchington was murdered within a small radius of his cabin at 10 p.m. last night. This scenario is the first thing I must have investigated thoroughly. To me, it's the time to examine the others who might, who make passage on this train. There are eight of them. 
This is the thing that's infuriating. All of them seem to have an alibi, exclamation <laughs> point. Using my keen reasoning abilities, I will try to deduce how it came to be that the victim was slain last night. I will start by speaking again with our conductor. He knows every inch of the train from rear to front. Ooh. And he felt that things weren't right last night. Yeah. Despite a fear he might disturb the rider's slumber, he opened Ratchington's cabin and happened on the body. It's him. Given the lack of clues, I will also sniff around in the other passenger's cabin. I will try to disprove an alibi and arrest the culprit. One of the passengers must be lying. I will clear up the murky facts surrounding the night of the crime to understand who it was that nobody else saw at the time the crime was committed. I will compile all the information in this book. I will find the killer! Exclamation point. Oh, there's a lot going on. What are you looking at, D? Riddle card M. I guess we can draw riddle card M. Because we found it? Oh, uh, well, there's nothing to read here. Right, why don't you put it down? Um, okay. So we got... 1908... Red train. Red train Ooh, we're playing Ticket to Ride. Blue train 49657. Oh, are we supposed to cut that? Probably. There's a star on the ground there, correct? Yeah, there's a star. I mean, I'll overlay no, there, something. There is no here. star symbol, though, so that's not one of the things we're looking for. There's a chart here in the... There's like an image yeah. of a blue train, then a red train, then a yellow train. Okay. okay. So, so I think blue would be on top. So this was... There was no green? So blue train... And the arrow pointing down, so yeah. It's the blue train, red train, yellow train. I don't see a green train. I thought I did see... Oh, maybe I didn't. There's a yellow star on the bottom down here. Yeah, and I think we need a three-digit code to go to the kitchen because there's like a little, there's like a lock on it. Four six two. Yep. Try four six two. We don't know wait, which number or which uh, symbol to put it under. Oh, it's, it's, a, it's the star. It's probably there's star. no star. No, there's oh, there's a diamond right here. All right, try the diamond then. Yeah, it's got to be the diamond. So and there's a diamond here too. So oh so yeah. Four six. Oh, that's nine, six, two, two, sixteen. 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 Are we right? The code may be right. <clears throat> Where do we see the code symbol? What do you mean? I, I see it. The, the, it's in the door to the kitchen. Uh, answer card twenty-five. The kitchen. You are able to open the kitchen door. Hey, hey. the dining car steward is sitting on a chair, bound and gagged. Whoa. Ooh. Okay, Graham. What do you want to do? Write this down, Will. Wait, sorry. Steward has been bound and gagged. Steward. We find real cards G and O. That spells go. <gasps> Holy <laughs> shite shikes. <laughs> All right. Well, shite look, look at him. Okay. Oh. Well, this is O, this is G. So, okay. Statement of the steward after being freed. I cannot say who did this to me. I was knocked out by a blow to the back of the head. At the time of the crime, there was only one single guest in the dining car. Unfortunately, I can't recall who it was. Idiot. But one thing I can say for sure, he was not the one who hit me and tied me up. Now it's time to take a look around in oh, Hector okay. McKing's compartment. Hector You McKing. may now open the door to car six, compartment three. Okay. Is it sticky? Wait. We found some playing cards. Is that like one of those cologne things? If the uh, riddle on card O, if you simply add, you'll surely fail. Just swimming up is wrong. Clockwise spins a happier tale, counter a sadder song. Right, so so clockwise. No, and clockwise and no count. We have a three digit code on a briefcase with the matching symbol here in his room. Okay. Uh, so we have, we also have riddle card H has been found in here, which I will also be grabbing. Playing cards. Inspector Achilles Pousseau really subjected the deck of cards from the smoking card to a close examination. So we've got a pattern of cards here. The cards in here are missing from here. Okay. That much I'm sure. I, I have a sense that this might be like a like a code, like letters. Like each like card oh. might mean something like that possibly. What is that there, Will? Well, it shows it's an image that shows the dining car. There are three clocks, one that has a red on the number two, one that has an orange marker on the number ten, and one has a yellow marker on the number six. And then there's also a bunch of playing cards here on the table. So there's a yellow on the number six? Yes. So it would be six... How, how, what was it? Six plus six plus nine plus six? Is that a thing? I don't, it's 27. Does that mean anything? Well, they said don't add, right? Does well, it, it says, says if you say... simply add, you'll surely fail. 
So it's 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 time then. So it's six six plus, plus six it's noon. Yeah. Plus nine. Or the twelve. So it's nine then plus six. three 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 is for yellow. Okay, so we're oh, at three. three o'clock. So what's the orange on? Ten. So twelve two eight and then what's that eight there? Four. So four o'clock. Three to four. Three, three four. four. And then what's the red on? Uh, two. A two to eight. To six, to four, uh-huh. to ten, to twelve, to two. So three, four, two. Three, four, two. And three, four, two for this the L looking symbol. Three, four, two. Fifteen. Did 15. I do that right? Yeah. Three, four, two. Fifteen. Answer card. Step right up. Free tickets for murders. This is not. The, this code is not correct. We messed it up. I don't know if we want to make a note of it. It looks like one of the people playing poker was definitely a woman. Okay. There's some lipstick on one of the uh, glasses here. One of them was chomping on a cigar. And they were drinking whiskey. Did you draw a line from six to nine, back to six? Mm. I don't know if that does anything, then you go from... Unless you do add the time, but you don't add them together, so like... Yeah. If you go from the six oh. to the twelve to the nine to the three, what does that give you? Six to twelve to nine to nine to three to three. That's a, That's four. a four. Okay. Yep. Uh, so you're going we're ten. ten to twelve. Ten to twelve. To two. To two. To eight. To eight. To uh, four. A two. It's a two. Yeah, it's a two. All right. Then the last one starts on what? Uh, it starts, should start on two. Two, so go to eight. Two to eight. To ten. To ten. To... Oh, that was eleven, whoops. Okay. To eight. To eight. To six. To twelve. To two. Jesus. To four. It's gonna be an eight. It's gonna be an eight, yeah, it's gotta be an eight. Eight to four, yeah. All right, grab. For eight the, to four. For the L shape. On the L shape. We're gonna get this. Ten. Ten. Okay. Yeah, that's that's definitely right. Okay. No. Well. Okay. What what order do you enter them in? Wait. Uh, eight to. Oh. 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 We have to do it in yellow. Four yeah. to eight. Four to eight. Seven. Seven. No, this one's not right. I mean, no. There we go. All right. So you can see on the image I'm showing right the now. Suitcase the suitcase springs open. All right. But it's empty. Great. You were expecting an incriminating piece of evidence. Instead, you only find real card R. You want to draw that, Graham? Uh, was Hector McKing lying? If so, you will have to continue looking up someplace else. How about the compartment of Countess Andrensky? You may now open the door to car six, compartment two. We have something not even the cards yet, but we have opened her room. So this one we can get rid of, right? Uh, I believe so. Yeah, this will be done. What's this? All right, so this is the hexagon symbol we're going to do next. It's attached to a code on her little uh, okay. box thing here. And there is a 19th century folk song that we found on a clue here, on a riddle. There was once a royal couple, mm-hmm. a loving king and queen, but they could not get together with a partial solution between. Royal couple, loyal, loving king and queen. Do we have yep. that there? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. And oh, no, fours. loving would be hearts, wouldn't it? Oh, loving yeah. Loving would probably mean hearts. That's in his cabin, isn't it? Loving king and queen. They could not get together with a partial solution between. Eight. Eight. Eight of hearts. What does that tell us? Eight, eight, what? What is that? That's only one thing, though. It's a partial solution. Eight is one of the numbers. Yes. So eight is just one eight of the numbers. Eight is a number. Okay. We, so we have eight. The Countess says she was playing poker in the smoking car with two gentlemen at the time of the crime. So we think that she would be the person, then, who is sitting here with the guy who here was smoking and this other guy here, whoever that may be. Who else says they were playing poker? Hector McKing also says he was playing poker. His last hand is a four of a kind. So he's the guy who was smoking. Did you not notice that on her lock there's a heart, a spade, and a club right above oh, it? Oh, that's a good point. So the eight of hearts, eight. So eight is the first number. Yes. So now we need to find a spade. A spade What's... and a what? A club? A spade well, and a club. What was in that hand? A spade and a club. Uh, who else was playing poker? So it ten can't be one oh, of them. Ten can't be one of them. Mr. Fletos was also playing poker. There is a king and a, a queen of spades here, separated by the four of spades. Okay. Is there a king and queen of clubs? 
anywhere. There's a king of queen and clubs on this card, and in between it is a two of clubs. Okay. There we go. So eight four two. On the hexagon. Two. Two. The result is two. Yep. And what's it on then? That box thing. It's on yeah. So oh, twenty one. We want twenty one. Yeah. It's on the. It's on the. Yeah, it's like a hat. Boom! Box. Bandit case springs open. Who would have guessed? Real cards E and T were deposited inside. Take these real cards out of the stack. It looks like Signor Blanc Bianco is uh, next on our list. You may go to compartment the uh, car five, compartment two. This says what right, right there. Resolution for tomorrow, win back my watch from Hector. Hector has his watch. Oh, he also says he was playing poker in the smoking car at the time of the crime. Interesting, so someone's lying. And uh, Fletto's says he hasn't had alcohol in 400 days and they were clearly drinking here, so maybe he's looking shifty. But anyway, what do we have for Bianco over there? Where's Bianco's? Oh, okay, hold on. Right hold on, There's a couple things here. We have the clues from the box. We wanna look at these quick. Evidence number two, the Countess's vanity case inside a valuable jewel and a god-awful lipstick. We can take the jewel item out of the thing there. Wasn't there a jewel? Yeah, put that other thing back. Lipstick was on the glass, which, which is, is here. We were almost certain that she was the one. So we have a jewel. We have here. We also have an, a newspaper. Ita Italian wins chess championship. Him? Yeah. He's, he's, he's Bianco, be. yeah. Grand Dam at Tulip Show in Amster Amsterdam in England's most... Costly cigars won in poker game. Can I see that real quick? So Bianco is a chess champion. Yes. He won a chess championship. Mm -hmm. McKing just won big in their poker game. So let's say Bianco is legit here. He was actually the third man at the poker table. McKing beats him with his four of a kind. Yep. And he says he, he deposited his winnings in his suitcase. But his suitcase was empty. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's over here. Yeah. Empty suitcase. Just so we know, remember it's here. Whatever this thing is, this little uh, box down here is locked within the square. So maybe we're missing that. Okay, guys. Um, What's up, Will? Chess is C9. Cigars is B7. Okay. And then we're looking for tulip. Oh, yeah, tulip. A5. A5. So, so, we, so let me write that down. What's the What's the order and what's the symbol? Well, be top down would be. Yeah. Chess. Yeah, so C9. Was it 9? No, it's like the, the numbers. 9, 7, 5, was it? Then Tulip is next, so A5. Oh, 9, 5, 7. And then his cigars are on B7. And what was the symbol for this one? Uh, tri the triangle. 13? 13. 13. Uh, what's the symbol on? The newspaper, right? Wait. Symbols? No, the symbol's on the... It's like a radio yeah. or something. I can't tell what that is. Nope. Nope. Hmm. All right, so um, hold on. So it's not nine, whatever we wrote, nine five. No, but I will point out that that it's cab. Oh, 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 ABC, ABC. What's ABC? Uh, five seven nine. Do that. Five seven nine. Uh, three. Three. Get it. There we go. Uh, eleven. This time. Find it. Yes. Able to open the money box. We find rail card Q. After examining his compartment thoroughly, you discover a tabletop from another compartment behind the door. That's the other item in there. Take the strange item out of the box. Yeah. A table when its top is lost is like a T that isn't crossed. Replace the top straight up, not stowed, and use the jewel to find the code. From left to right, lower the stone. Into the holes, the code is shown. A table. Like, we need easy. Yes. yes, we're using the, the outburst, outburst game, outburst game table. Mm -hmm. We'll give them a little plug. Sometime for a plug, Will. That yeah. isn't crossed. Wait, isn't one of the images in here a table without a top? Oh, this thing. Yeah. So, s this way, right? Would the table... Straight up, Replace the top stowed. straight up, not stowed, and use the jewel to find the code. Okay, so use the jewel... From left to, to right, right, lower the stone, stone into, into the, the holes. holes. So, it's a one. One. Yeah, it's gonna hit a lot of numbers. Yeah. How, yeah, if we go all the put it all the way in, move it over maybe. And no, move move the table. Oh, which oh, gives oh, a oh. point to. Is that where is that lined up? Here, here. So, yeah, if you put it in, and what cover? What numbers get covered up? It sh if, it, if it covers up all but three, so that one covers up one, right? It doesn't cover anything. Oh. I mean, okay, it so it doesn't cover everything. One. What is it? What you cover? All right, so put in the. Hmm. If you put it in the next one, what does it do?
Yeah, we always mess up with these. Yeah. We're like clumsy. All right, what was the clue? First clue. To solve this riddle, you must have found riddle card Q. You must also have the two strain. We have all that. If you do not have everything yet, you have to. Yeah. You will also Q. need page five in the book. You were right there. So we already found, figured that out. Let's go clue two. Well, that's another. Let's replace the it, top Nothing. Strip. This told us nothing. Read I know, it. but it's, everything it's, we it costs know. us another star if we go right like, to the second clue. Well, what's the point of drawing clues if we're not using? I didn't look. I didn't read it yet. And use the jewel to find right. the code. The tabletop belongs to the table leg. Simply hold it in the correct location at a ninety degree angle to page five. Then lower the jewel to find the code numbers. Wow, does it think it was a zero? Seven, zero. It's gonna be two again. Two, zero, seven isn't right. No, five. Oh, five. five, zero, seven? I'm just going straight in though. I'm not like. No, it's not right. Or two, it was seven, zero, hmm? five. Seven, zero, five. Seven, zero, five. That's 30 again. That's not right. These things are always hard. We, this what was it in the first one that stumped us? That was like is that post the uh, flag? That's post. right. The flag. We kept on trying to hang it and drape it and like figure it all out, and it just never really worked out, did it? I'm doing it. Ugh, fine. The correct position of the table is indicated by the upper end of the table leg on page five. The upper end of the table leg is not the solution. Oh, look at this. Okay, just look at it. I don't even want to read that. That's annoying. How are we ever going to figure that out? You point it through and then go across the C. So it's like that. So it would be one. One. Five. five. Nine? It looks like six to me. I can't tell. Nine. Yeah, that's nine. nine to me, yeah. Okay, okay. so yeah, basically we, we need to go. And it's on the little round, so 17. That was stupid. Oh, yeah, it is. Get that was hard, this but I get why we did it wrong. Godson's hat box is open, guys. <laughs> All right, so we got three clues. We already have, like, no more than, like, seven stars, I think, but whatever. You just got to solve the murder, D. I don't care what Inside, she hit riddle card F, K, and N. Take these riddle cards out, and then uh, time to pay Mr. Fleto a visit. Car four, compartment three. When nothing seems correct, although your intellect says that it cannot be, then look at page three. Try to meet your goal, a way to fill the hole. One, we're looking, we're, all, so we're doing oh, a no, hold on, hold on. With a pocket watch inside. Her hat box had the watch he won. Oh. So maybe, well, who's the guy who said he needs to win his? Uh, it was a Bianco, I believe. So maybe he wasn't there. Maybe he has no pocket watch to win back. Well, no, he lost it. He lost it. He lost it to the, this guy, and it somehow wound up with her. Mm. Okay, so this is interesting. He's got a bottle of 0% alcohol wine in his compartment. He also has a purple ticket, a red ticket, and an orange ticket. I mean, and a green ticket. Where's the Sorry, moon? Green. I don't oh, always okay. said orange. I meant, I meant to say green. So the moon is here? Mm-hmm. Okay, we have, uh, we have an Orient Express thing here with the moon on it. It's got uh, a number of uh, like uh, destinations on it. Boom. What is that? So, so is draw. Nine? draw, 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 draw. Paris to Est, Strasbourg. What is it? Or does this have anything to do with it? And the tickets that... Oh, no, no, the tickets saying, that are in his... You just look yeah. at the three tickets in his room. Yeah. Oh. All this. It's, it's, oh, speak up. It's purple. I was nine. To a ticket hey, you number. I said ticket number. Nine. Nine. Show in the tape. Nine. One. Seven. Yeah. For what figure? It's the moon. Moon on like a... And what's the order they box. went to in? Hold on. What's the order they went to in? That's the order... Of, yeah, one. So Strasbourg is the first one. Which is what number? That's one. One. Whatever green is. Seven. One, seven, nine. One, seven, nine. There's nothing. It's literally a hole. <gasps> Guys. What? When nothing seems correct, although your intellect says it cannot be, look at page three, then try to meet your goal, a way to fill the hole. Get that back to the empty spot. Or is it's, it still it's on? in there. Okay, page three. Fill the hole. Yeah, use that as a... Two. Two. Well, how, how do we know it's oriented correctly? Because using that like bottom thing, see how the circle like fits in perfectly? No, no, no. How do we know it's twisted correctly? Oh, we don't. Oh, what's this? Well, hell. Oh, no, no, this matches up here. What Nine. Nine. That's it. Good thinking, Graham. This... We're geniuses! Fourteen! Hey! We're able to open the, the wooden box in Mr. Fleto's luggage rack. All right. He tried to hide cards L and V. We're running out of cards here, so... Looks like there's a reason to search Mary Ovenham's compartment. She's car three, compartment one. Got it. 
All right. Mr. Fletta's wooden box with a personal message that we just opened. Mm -hmm. um, it had a newspaper clipping, and then it read with a note, the evening and night with you were wonderful, mm -hmm. M.O. There's two M.O's. There's Mary Ovenham, whose room we're going to investigate now. Uh, she also says she was playing poker in the smoking car at the time of the crime. And there is also, so she's probably lying about that. And there's also Melanie Olofsson, who says she was asleep because she took sleeping pills that knocked her out for over 12 hours. She is traveling to Constantinople. Yeah. She's also married. Uh, so let's let's assume Mary is the mo we're looking for. Okay. Because uh, she may she has her alibi is nonsense. Who did she say she was spending the evening with? Fledos. Fledos also lied about playing poker and he also lied about drinking. So these two are suspicious. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Fledos doesn't drink alcohol. He has a yes. bottle of zero percent alcohol yes, in his I, room. So zero percent alcohol. All right, so what do we, uh, what's the symbol we're looking at now? This one, which shows up here. Like the Y? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then a circle. And it's got these, so. Do we remember which of these we've actually finished so we can, like, get rid of them? So we, L we've done, right? The moon we've done. I would just leave them. We'll, play, but we'll know how far, close we're getting to the end. Well, I think whatever yeah. they've done that card definitely correlates to With this. With these, yeah, that's what I was. Because it has the grid down the center and then. So to remove any piece from this page would not be advice that is so sage. Okay. A, B, C. Yeah, and there's numbers correlating with those. So those are that's probably that's probably whatever our our combination is. Do they fold? You know what, Graham? That worked. But make sure you probably want to align it with the lines. Yeah. So you pull. Maybe not. No, 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 I guess you no, do no. want probably it. Probably with the yeah, probably with these. Okay, hold on. Like there. See, what do we got? Okay. Oh, I wait. Think we gotta tear that out. No, 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 no. no, no. Wait, it's it literally says not to. No, it says to remove anything from the page, not to remove the page. The lipstick. Who had the lipstick? The countess. This is a different shade. Hold on. Hold on. Whoa. D is figuring D's. something out while we're over here uh, <laughs> doing something else. <laughs> Can I see the poker room? Hold on. And the and the people? Yeah, these definitely fold over. Mrs. Ovenham was playing poker. Do are there anything would these lines be useful at all in this one? No. No? Okay. Have you guys figured anything out over there? Well, if you fold them, they, they line connect. up and they connect. Okay. What are the destinations? For That's you? what I know. They're, I think, but the destinations don't line up perfectly because there's, a, there's three tracks. Yes, there's A, B, and C, and one of them goes from B to C, and one of them goes from A to B, I believe. Should we use a hint? Or which one? What? What? what for one? this one. Yeah. To solve this rule, you must have found real card L. L. Yeah, we, we have know L. know that we have pages If nine. you do not have this card yet, you will have it. Okay. You also need pages 9 and 10 in the book. So this is page 9. This is page 10. I'm on the right track. Just like you did at the beginning of the game, you may need to tear or cut along dashed or dotted lines. That would make sense. Because, yeah, like, if, like a lot of them don't connect, so do that. Yeah, it says don't cut pieces off the page, but it doesn't say don't cut the page. That's what it meant. Yeah. Honestly, I think we've eliminated half the suspects already. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's A. Which one does A look like? A starts... Top right. Or wait, which, oh, one, wait, so which, which ones, ones are folded A, over? Which ones does A use? Yeah. Yeah. A folds the bottom right, this... Oh, these three. These are the ones that are out of it with A. These are the ones that are so crossed two, off. Two so is two the is the number. first one. For which symbol? The, for the, the y, y symbol. So two is the first one. All right, yeah, one. do the rest and we'll get to the, oh, goodness. Yes, so then, yep, there it is. Okay, so it's, what? So it's top left, top left bottom, top and bottom, and the two middles, so eight. Eight, so two, eight. Okay. Two, eight, and then C. This is, this game's cool. This is better than the last yeah, one that we C, stuck on. Okay. So then it's two on the left, the bottom, and this one, zero. Okay. So two, eight, zero. Two, eight, zero. Right there. 23. All right, what are we looking at? 
It's like a che a larger chest with like a a white thing. Yeah, it's a white chest. It's got, it's got feet. I think this is one we were supposed to be looking for. <laughs> okay, you're able to open the jewelry box in Mrs. Dubinum's apartment. We find riddles A and U. A and U. Draw the entire path, but not here and not diagonally. Oh. And then what's left for you to do? Why couldn't he just write down in his journal who the killer was? What's this? This is interesting. Yeah, I know. That's that's because it's what's this from mm -hmm. the circle. What? Because it's like the circle. Okay, but what's... I, I don't I don't know. I mean this, but this matches this. It's the only thing that matches this. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? That's true. I think you. I think we were right. I think we literally need to be drawing something though, because it has the pencil thing on there. Yeah. Every time it has had that, it means literally draw. Oh. I think we should look at the clue. I'm, I'm, I, 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 I honestly stumped. Solve this riddle. You must have found riddle card A. Yeah. Okay. You do not have the. Oh yeah. Okay. There is also something else you will need. Not a card. Not a page from the book. And not a strange item either. Why are the first three digits on the card 022 depicted with an odd design? Shoot, doesn't it look familiar? You normally wouldn't be using yeah. a pen or a pencil here. Right. So here. So go back to the 022 with the, the circle. Yep. So you gotta, you gotta draw on there. Oh yeah, I guess do, do, do the drawing. So start at the zero. But the down. thing, we have to be careful. Yeah, five, five, yeah, six, six, seven. seven. Okay. It'll, create a, it'll create a shape on there. Yep, okay. So let's do it. So 022. Mm -hmm. Three, three, one. Four, 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 five, six, seven. Five, four, six, five. What does that leave? What are we left to do? Three, seven, one. Three, three, seven, one. Seven, yeah, one. That. Congratulations, Graham. Six. You figured that out, and we just weren't smart enough to think to write on it. Well, he, he also yeah. didn't know exactly how to write on it. No, he? he got it right. What's the circle on? What's the circle on? Oh, it's um, it's it's a, it's a white box with a handle, next to lipstick. Hey, we're in the pill box. We find real cards D, and there's like a lowercase I, and then W. I just think just the this I. This probably it. Take these real cards on this. Now it's time to open the compartment of Colonel Arbeth yet. <gasps> he's dead. Is he dead? Or he's asleep? I don't know. He's probably dead. Well, what does it oh, say? Oh, and it also has B, J, and X revealed here. Yeah. Okay. DJ. This is it, guys. An X. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. So we got stuff here to work with. What are we going to unlock, though? Okay. I guess nothing. So, is just it. evidence number five. Sleeping pills found in car three, compartment one. We have these lines here. We have a radio room that's locked with a star symbol. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Yeah, go ahead and look at those. You find Inspector Achilles Pousseau. He has been rendered unconscious, probably with knockout drops. What's he mumbling in his sleep? That's in addition to the murderer. There's another kleptomaniacal person on the train who ripped off another passenger while the murder was happening. What is CD alibi? But an alibi nevertheless. It's high time we open the door to the radio room and report the perpetrator to the authorities. Soon we'll be in Constantinople. We have to send the radio message as quickly as possible. Second digit of the radio frequency, compartment number of the murderer. So once we find the second digit, we will know who killed. Pressing firmly by design, always true to the yellow line. Yellow lines are here. They yep. match up with these things here. Yep. Um, draw each stroke and don't distort and hurry because time is short. Drawing here won't help a bit. Somewhere else is more like it. On a bed, and that's no jest, that's the way it comes through best. Maybe a bed of cardboard, thing. close at hand, the answer is at your command. I'm assuming we have to draw something, right? It says, but it says, drawing here won't help a bit. Drawing here means on the card. Drawing on the card won't help. We didn't really do anything with the sleeping pills. I mean, I don't know if there's anything there. They were found in Ovenham's apartment. Compartment even though they apparently belong to Mrs. Olofsson. Both of them are M.O.'s. Both of them, well, either one of them spent the night with Mr. Fletto's. Mr. Fletto's. Meanwhile, Mrs. Godson had Mr. Bianchi's, Bianco's pocket watch, which apparently was just supposed to be in the possession of Mr. McKing. The Countess had the jewel. The Colonel we have nothing on. 
He doesn't even seem to exist except for his. He's uniform. missing a star from his jacket. There was a star on the ground, wasn't there? On one of the images. Well, see, here's his missing star from right. his uniform. I don't know if that's important, but it feels like it's important. That means he was there. He was in this room. It says he was in the dining room. He was dining in the dining car at the time of the crime. Appears to be almost blind, always bumping into things. That's what it says about him. That just might mean he's honest. This confirms that he was in the dining car. He might have... He's bumping into things. He might have knocked off one of his stars. So I think we can probably rule him out. All right, let's, let's just do it. You guys just want to do it? Because we're wasting we're a lot of time. We're running out of time. We only have like... Yeah. Like 13 minutes. Solve this riddle. Yeah, we have those cards. Yeah, we have them. At the end. Imaginary word on ca riddle card X is composed of only letters from the remaining riddle, riddle card. Card X. No, that's X. Oh, we're here. What is it? Don't you find it interesting that the imaginary word on riddle card X is composed only of letters from the remaining riddle cards? What's the imaginary? remaining riddle cards? These three cards. Yeah, w, w U, U I. I. Yeah, that's what I've been. I have that. Oh, oh, that's oh. that's or something I've already figured out. If you do like, does it create something if you draw? Zero? Zero? I don't know what that is. Is that a four? four? Zero. Four? Oh, you're right. That is a four, and this is a zero. It's a star? I think. Is it a four, That though? is like a four. If you What's the star it, on? If you turn it. What's the star on? is it kind of like? What is the star on? The star is on... It's a radio door. Where's the radio door? Oh, right here. Uh, yeah, it's on the door. It's on the door itself. You're actually able to open the door to the radio room using this code. Hidden away there is the radio on riddle card S. First digit, join the two blue lines in such a way that the two red lines remain visible. Third digit, Where's luggage the... rack B of the murderer. If the answer card shows a red X, you will then have to turn over riddle card P. It's this. It's whatever this is. Yeah, okay. Second digit of the radio frequency, compartment number of the murderer. What's the second digit of the, of the radio frequency? Does it show it, it on there? No, it doesn't show it on oh, here. Okay. No, we need to we figure, figure out it out. this puzzle. Dude. Okay. Yeah. Right, well, so the first digit remember is... Remember that. The second digit's important. So join the two blue lines in the way that the red lines remain visible. Uh, you, um, yeah, you, you had the right idea there. Yeah. Do we have Olafson's room? Oh, look, it says words. Okay. The first number of the radio, radio message, message is the train car number of the murderer. murderer. Okay. So who was the train car number of the murderer? We don't know the murderer. <laughs> so keep going then. What's the second part? Uh, third digit. Luggage rack B of the murderer. Yeah. We need to figure out who the murderer is then. So who is it, D? You've been keeping track of this crap. We don't have Olafson's room, do we? No. Do we have Godson? No. Don't have either of those two. Mm -hmm. Those two we don't have. All right, so they're not, it's neither of them. Cross them off. Mm-hmm. Even though Godson has the watch for McKing, I don't think that's relevant, so. So is she the only one left? Who is it? Ovenham? And Drinsky. Okay. First digit, join the two. Okay, so it's the train car number. Six. Six. The second digit of the radio frequency compartment number of the murderer. Two. two. So the symbol on the radio is the plus sign. We know that the first two numbers are six and two. Based on the room, the right. car and room. What is so the third is one? The rack B of the murderer. So six. B six. So the third six. digit is six. Six two so plus six. Plus sign six two six. And what do we get? It gives us thirteen. Uh, if if it's her I'm I'm kind of suspicious of Fletto's, honestly, but no? Huh? What's it on? The radio, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's on the radio. 29. Please. Hey! It was her! Who? the Orient Express arrives at Constantinople Noble the right at the station. The police are already waiting on the platform to apprehend Countess Andrensky. Thank you for your outstanding investigations. The perpetrator is able to be arrested. She and Ratchington used to be a couple. But he cheated on her with an up-and-coming young crime novel writer in a red kimono. Achilles Pizzo is excited as he regains consciousness. Who knows? Maybe someday someone will come up with the idea of writing about the tragic events that unfolded on this luxury train. If so, you will certainly be mentioned there. Based on your great success, may add two stars to your assessment. This brings the total possible numbers to 12. All right, so what How did we get? How many cars did we end up using? How many clue cars did we How use? How long did it take? 
We stopped uh, one already. 13 or one 14 or something like that. All right, we use five clues. Let's put five in. Three or five health cards in under you 120 minutes. Down to the close under 120 minutes, correct? Yeah. Congratulations. So, seven stars. Seven stars. Seven stars. Plus plus two. Yeah. No, no, no. They included oh, the plus. Yeah. Two. So seven out of a possible. Yeah. Play. I mean, look, 10 out of, well, 10 we, out of 10, we, we really. We kept the murderer from getting away with the, the crime. Yeah, 7 out of 10. I did. I can't believe that. Master we, detectives we are. These games are frustrating. Yeah, they can be. They're good, though, but man, are they frustrating. Well, you, mean, you know what, guys? I solved it, and I feel like without me, we wouldn't have gotten Next it. Next time, we got to keep track of how many clues each person figures out, because I feel like I was superior in that sense. I literally narrowed down who the murderer was. I feel- Oh, shut up, you. <laughs> I feel like the camera and the tape will show that it was really hard for me to know what, what was going on. Because we was kind of hovered yeah. in that corner, so I was just left over here. Nonsense. Okay. They're entire I'm, sections of the game fine. where I wasn't paying attention to the Be slightest. more aggressive with I'm like the eagle, or I'm just- here. All right! Well, thank you for watching this video, everybody. If you enjoyed it, and we hope you did, uh, like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends. Uh, you also check out, you also check out our social media links in the description below. Our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram are all linked to there if you want to check those out. And come back next Wednesday where we will do our review of this Exit game, Murder on the Orient Express. Uh, until then, Dead uh, Man. Dead Man. <laughs> We're not reviewing a book or a movie. Dead Man on the Orient Express. Until then, though, thank you again for this watching. Is this a book? Thank you again for watching. Until next time, everybody. Bye. Goodbye.